What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. I'd like to talk briefly about swirlers out there, the ones that are really pushing this divestment thing that we've been seeing in black America or in black American content online. And that is, you know, that black women should expand their options. You know, they're limiting themselves to just dating black men and go out to the greater society. Now, I think that if black men have that sort of position, then it's more or less a problem. But but black women, they want to be able to, uh, those who agree with this, go outside of the ethnic group and, and try their luck in other places, even outside of the race. And we've seen certain people fail at that, uh, most notably Crystal and Karazin, the Pink Pill YouTube channel, which was, she took it down on her own recognizance. Uh, and then also we've seen certain situations go on with her, the new guy, Mr. E, right? We talked about that. But then I want to talk about what's been going on with Robert De Niro the last few years. Robert De Niro has been going through a tumultuous divorce. Okay. And his estranged wife, Grace Hightower, has been making it very, very difficult for him trying to, um, you know, really get a lot of his wealth, whether that's some monthly installments of it, um, alimony. She's really been really tough, you know, to the to the point that, you know, I believe that uh, De Niro's attorney said that, like, look, he's 78 years old and he actually needs to go back to work because the wife is trying to get so much money. OK, and it's been very, very bitter since they've been separated. And even though De Niro has had, you know, has previously been known to have a, uh, a really strong affection and liking towards um, African-American women or women of black descent, all of a sudden Robert has changed his tone. He's never said anything about it. He's never addressed any racial issues or cultural issues that might have occurred between his estranged wife. But we do know this, after dealing with his wife, he has now changed races. He is now dating an Asian woman. Now, any any of us guys who have, you know, really understood white men or, or some of their preferences, you know, white men really have a strong preference. If they're not going to date white women, they have a real strong preference for Asian women. If you go to... You, you know, if you, if you were to look at Thailand, Thailand's one of the, you know, Bangkok is probably one of the greatest tourist attractions in the world, if not the number one. You want to find a lot of European white men there, right? You're just going to find them. The Philippines is another example. Um, white women, uh, white men and Asian women are probably the biggest interracial mix in American society and probably all over the Western world. They're really, 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 um, sought after by white men, I think for the stereotypical ideology of femininity, you know, the, the most Asian women tend to be more traditional, more willing to um, stay with feminine roles, cooking and cleaning and things like that. Um, however, you know, um, De Niro has went this route and he seems to be quite happy. And there's some pictures we're showing him, um, you know, he got him some sandals there. You know, shout out to my boy Kim and you got into editing this because he's a big time sound aware. But he, he seems to be having a, a really good time. He's hanging out on a $200 million yacht, um, you know, with the with, with the one that's owned by uh, James Packer. And this lady's name is Tiffany Chin. She's a martial arts instructor out of New York. OK. And we really want to know why this is. OK. And, 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 and let's talk about what is not being said. I'll, I'll go for it. Uh, De Niro is most likely in you know, towards the end of his life. And I want to say this without controversy. De Niro may have understood that maybe he is not built for the type of culture that some women in our community can exhibit. It's not a good or a bad thing, right? And I'm not saying that this is a stereotypical thing for all African-American women because 
people are different. I just honestly believe uh, to deal with African American women um, to a certain degree, you, you have to be a certain type of man. Just like if you deal with the African American man, it'd be a certain type of woman. All right, usually. And a lot of times what's lost, even though we're both Americans, you know, white Americans or Italian Americans or African Americans, we still have subcultures that make us different, even in relationships. And there are certain things that we need from one another that may not be there. Okay. And what De Niro may understand now is maybe my skill set could be different or could be appreciated a little bit more in a more traditional, a woman with a little bit more uh, understanding of masculine vibes. That could be it. I'm not sure, I'm just speculating. But I will say this, I think that the reason that Robert De Niro is not dating another black woman might be the same reasons why some other men in our community have that right some men just need a woman that is a little bit just more i, I hate to say it but i'm going to talk about it a woman who is not as strong-willed if you will okay some men are attracted to uh, 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 by that i know to a certain degree i am uh, i come from the black community you know a lot of african-american women are a little bit strong-willed you know determined to do what they need to do and all that and a lot of guys especially liberals they like that about women and then you find out that that same strong-willed uh, behavior um, could come back to you in, in, in a way that you're like, whoa, 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 wait, wait, boo is me. I think that what Robert De Niro feels is that for my skill set, as a man, this lady is a little bit softer in these areas that I can deal with. Especially after what he's found out maybe in the last three years. It could have been that race is not even an, an, an issue. That could be the case. I'm thinking that somehow cultural per perspectives are an issue. Because African American culture is different than the European culture in America. There are certain dynamics that make black people what they are and non-black people what they are. Typically, even though we're both American. And he seems to be quite happy. Now, on the flip side, Grace Hightower is probably going to have a difficult a, a time um, finding somebody, if you really want to be honest. We all know it. Uh, we don't want to say it, but let's just call it for what it is. She's going to have a hard time finding someone, okay? especially at the level of Robert De Niro, especially what guys know about her now. It's almost done. It's the same thing that happened with Gary Owen. Now, although the wife is not coming out seeing these allegations, we saw what happened with Gary Owen, right? And what Gary Owen is finding out now that culture is a, a big, it's a big thing. All right? A lot of guys don't understand how big culture is in a relationship. Some guys just can't relate to it. Okay? Some some of the some of the ways that we grow up, you know? It's, it's different. And you see De Niro probably not to return to what he formerly was. And I think that for Sorrel Nation, this is a loss. You know? And I just think that the reality, we, we can't push this narrative that this group is better than the other group or that group's better than the other group. It's really personal to personal thing for me. And I just... You know, I'm, I'm trying to really cut it close here, but I think that's exactly what it is. So, guys, it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe with the bell. Check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all-time high. I'm now. Peace.